morning guys. Hey, today we're working on one of our demo houses out here at Grower Solution. We wanted to cover a few things uh, to make it a little simpler on the installation side of, in particular, our 24 high side kit. Now with that kit, you're gonna get a cable truss. With that cable truss, what we want, want to do is secure the arch of our bow. So we're gonna pull a little bit of tension on the top of our ground stakes with that. It's a very simple process, but we wanted to cover it here. Well, the first things you're gonna do is take your brace band, and I've got a, a couple of pieces of cutoff pipe here. It's gonna make it easier for me to spread it. If you've got pliers or something like that, that'll work as well. I'm just gonna put those ears in there. Pop that out. Makes it a little bit spread so we can get it over our pipe here. Once we get over the top of the bow material, we're gonna tighten it back up. Take one of your one and a quarter inch bolts and a nut. We're gonna go ahead and for this one side, we're gonna fasten that in and we're just gonna hand tighten it for now. Next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and loosen your turnbuckle up all the way. So we wanna expose all the threads. If you just leave one or two turns in there so that it'll hold in place, we're gonna use that later to draw the tension on our cable. So we're gonna loosely hang that in there by the hook side. Take your one loose end of your cable and go through the closed end of the turnbuckle. We do have these little cable locks here. It's a little, just a U-bolt through a cradle and two little 10 millimeter bolts or nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and loop this through two times so that we secure the cable and it will not slip. So we go ahead and have it on, and notice I did not take the nuts off of the U-bolt there. That way we can leave it in place. We're gonna do one loop through. Go ahead and pull that a little bit tighter. We don't want it, we don't need a huge loop in there. Then we're gonna go back through the looped end of our turnbuckle. And one more time, it does get a little bit tight. So bear with me here. So you'll see that was a little bit difficult, but what that's gonna do is create a friction in that U-bolt so that this does not slip out. With a double loop there, as you can see, if one tightens because of the tension or because of any of the vibrations of the house, we're not gonna pull out of our cable lock that way. I've got a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these nuts down all the way. And go ahead and, and don't really be afraid, you're not gonna shear the cable here. Go ahead and crank those down. Make sure both nuts are good and tight. It may take a little bit of, of back and forth between the two to make sure they're both evenly tight. So we've done that there. We should reduce any slipping through the lock. We're simply gonna take our cable to the other side of the house. You wanna go directly parallel to the other boat. Again, it makes it a little easier for your brace band. We spread it out some. Pop that over the bow again, just as before. We're gonna do the same thing with our bolt and nut here. We're just gonna hand tighten these for now. Now that we've got our loose end of the cable, we're just gonna go over the bolt, between the bolt and the, and the bow material. Preset our cable lock and then go through. Now you'll see we've got a lot of excess cable on this one. 
screw ahead and draw the tension out. Now you're not gonna get it as tight as you want it right here, but the more tension you go ahead and pull out of this cable, the more the turnbuckle is gonna help you on the back side. And same as before, we wanna do a double loop. So we're gonna go again through the bolt, between the bolt and the bow. and fight it one last time through our cable lock. Now you see I've let a little more slack out, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that through. And we're just gonna take turns feeding that through the lock. I've left a little extra slack here just so you can see it. You can make your loops just a little bit tighter. So again, with the 10 millimeter socket, with 7 16 will also work. Now that we've drawn all that up, we've got our cable locks nice and tight. We'll go back to our turnbuckle over here. And we're just gonna spin this and tighten it up. And keep in mind, you've only got about three inches of travel here. We're gonna say two inches of travel here. So we do wanna go ahead and pull the tension out of that. You'll notice here, the more we turn that turnbuckle, your cable's gonna draw tighter and tighter and take all that slack out. If you'll notice here, these tension bands are trying to move around on me. One thing we can do here, if we can tighten our nuts and bolts down just a little bit, we can also take a tech screw and go right on the inside. Again, we wanna avoid the film that's gonna be over the house. So put your tech screw right here and that's gonna secure the brace band and keep it from moving around on you. One more little pointer is if you notice as I'm spinning the turnbuckle, the cable wants to turn with me. So we'll just hold our loop and that's gonna maintain so that it draws evenly on both sets of threads. And there you're gonna have your cable truss.